Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. We've got another super cool car we're getting ready to dig out of this garage right behind me that we're getting ready to show you. Now, you think of garage, barn finds, garage finds, you think out in the middle of nowhere, been forgotten about, lost, out in the middle of an old farmstead, milo field, wheat field. We're right in the middle of town. So you never know where something cool is gonna pop up. And that's what we're gonna have right here inside this garage we're getting ready to show you. Now, something from the 70s. Now, me personally, love the cars from the 70s. It's what I grew up on. Super cool one right in here we're getting ready to check out. Now, that's what I remember when I was a kid. A lot of the stuff from the 70s never got saved. A lot of it used for demo cars. People didn't save them. They didn't think they were ever gonna be collectible. Well, now they're hard to find, and it's super cool when you find a super cool one like we've got right in here. So let's get this old door open on this old garage and check this thing out. Here it is, 1975 Oldsmobile 98 Coupe. Got the typical rear quarter extension problems that uh, these cars as well, some of the Cadillacs and Buicks of this era are well known for. But this car's been in here for a long time, as we can tell. The dust and dirt is thick, but it is literally just as they pulled this thing in here and shut the key off. They think it's been in it for around 30 years. They said they did mess with it about 15 years ago and got it fired up. I don't know if they did that here or got it out and did that and put it right back into this building, but they said it's been in this garage for about 30 years. Original hubcaps, skirts, just got the tires aired up. Three of the tires still had some air in them. One of them was pretty much flat, but fortunately they did take. As we're just getting ready to roll this beast back out into the daylight after sitting in this old garage for decades. Don't have a lot of room to get around this thing because uh, surprisingly the car takes up pretty much the whole area in here. Pulled this fender skirt off to Get that tire to air up because this is the one that was actually completely flat. It's holding air. But back in the day, this thing would have been a really, really pretty car. That nice medium metallic blue, white vinyl top. This thing would have been slick rolling down the road. Take a peek inside. There's they set that fender skirt inside of there. White seats, power seats, power windows. Like I said, this thing's a 98. It was loaded up. Except it had an AM radio, believe it or not. Window seats, tilt, cruise. But just an AM radio. But really, overall, doesn't look to be in terrible shape. Like I said, we're going to get this thing out get it out in the daylight, get it rinsed off, see how she looks, and then we'll get you a better glimpse at it. Now, one interesting thing about this car, this car is actually a local car. Like I said, I grew up on these things, literally. My dad was the, he was a, actually started as a technician and then became a service manager at the local Buick Olds Cadillac dealership in the 70s and 80s. Something else we found in this car already without even doing any digging is right here on the key, we have the original key fob. Oldsmobile Buick Cadillac, D-Dove Buick Olds Cadillac, Great Bend, Kansas. That's the dealership where my dad worked at when this car was sold brand new, when it was serviced, and a lot of history with it back from when they were using this car regularly. So anyway, there she is in all her glory. Can't wait to get this thing hosed off. Love the color combination on this. Love the fact that it's a two-door. It's a whole lot of two-door. That is one big old car. 
so many of these cars didn't get saved over the years. Super happy that they kept this one inside, preserved it, and uh, we'll get it out of here, get it rinsed off, and uh, we'll see what kind of condition this thing is in. But man, it looks really good. We look at these quarter panels and everything. We don't see a lot of rust, just a few little dings and dents. But overall, this old car looks pretty good and pretty solid. So we're going to get the truck pulled around here and uh, try not to mess up their nicely manicured lawn here and uh, get this thing pulled out. Like I said, you never know where this stuff's going to be hiding. Never would have expected this car would have been back in this garage. But here she is. We're going we're gonna to pull it out, get her loaded up, take it home, rinse it off, see what we've got. So stay tuned. We've got some more stuff coming on this one. Hey everybody, we're standing here with Sandy and Susan <laughs> in front of their dad's 1975-98 coupe that we just pulled out of the old garage. So, ladies, what can you tell us about this car? What memories do you have about it? I mean, obviously, your dad kept this one for some reason, like we just discussed after all the Oldsmobiles and Cadillacs that he drove. For some reason, this 75 was stored in that building and kept all these years. I believe that back in 75, dad was very, my dad, Larry Panning, was very involved in politics. And I don't know if you got a view of this, but Pat Roberts' uh, bumper sticker is still on the car. And I think dad saved this car for the politicians to take them in parades. Well, it's blue and white and it's big, so. That's right. That, that could very easily be one reason. It's the only two Dory ever had because we had five kids so this is was their car after all his kids were gone from home that would make sense too you know yeah. maybe maybe they kind of got something kind of it a personal luxury kind of, their, kind of their hot rod <laughs> that was their luxury car I mean we didn't get to drive it at least my sister and I didn't no. <laughs> no. Um, but I think dad is this is his blessings to let them have it. Well, it's a super cool car. I love the color combination. Like we talked about earlier, these 70s cars, a lot of people didn't save them. A lot of people didn't think they were gonna be collectible. Plus, this literally was a prime demolition derby car 20 years ago. Anybody that got their hands on any GM car from the mid 70s, they demo derby them. So finding, you know, finding one today is tough, especially as being a two door, We've got some of your family history with it. I mean, obviously your dad thought it was a special car because Very. he held on to it. Right, well, in the white leather seats and the white uh, leather on the top, 455 engine. I'm very Mom, happy. Mom's to... favorite color. Yes, <laughs> yes, and dad's. Bedroom. That could have been why it got kept too, if it was their favorite color. Well, I, I think they initially wanted to get it restored and long came grandchildren great-grandchildren and I think now the family uh, is probably up to 58 of us so <laughs> <laughs> at least uh, so they, we know they, it'll be taken care of and housed and they put it hopefully in they'll get to write in it again and then five years went by and 10 years went by and 20 years went by and it right. still sat in storage and right yeah good shape pristine so, it's a neat old car super excited about it what else do you, do you, either one of you have any other stories or about your dad or anything else you want to share about the car? Um, well, we moved to town in 65 as the sinkhole out at the farm east of Ellenwood. Many may know the sinkhole story. Um, that's ours too, but we can't fill it up and we can't get rid of it. So <laughs> <laughs> um, the car, we always were taught to take care of your vehicles, so. And that's why he put this one in dry storage because right. they apparently had special feelings for it. That's right. They kept it, they cared for it, and kept it at least in out of the weather. That's right, yeah. I mean, you didn't get dolls for Christmas. You got jumper cables and <laughs> <laughs> tire charge to air your tires up, but yeah, oil sticks and we did. So, so taking care of these cars was important to him. Very very important and obviously this one being special that's why it sat in that garage for the last several decades in dry storage and protected so, yeah yeah have fun <laughs> well uh, thank both thank you both thank super you, appreciate you Chad. spending some time with us 
taking a few minutes to share your stories because now your stories, whatever happens to this car five years down the road, 10 years down the road, we've got your stories documented with the car. I expect <laughs> to put a politician in it and ride it, drive it in the parade. <laughs> Are you running? No, I'm not running for anything. I'm running for a political office. So. Me too. We're gonna get this thing loaded up. We're gonna give it a bath. We're gonna give you. We're gonna give you a look at it after we give it a bath and get a little better closer look at this thing. But there it is, fresh okay. out of the garage with the family story. Super cool. 75 Bulls 98 coupe. Stay tuned. We'll have some more cool stuff coming on this car soon.